The Economist saw the risk of a bubble in new buildings and depression on the secondary. Preferential mortgages can breathe life into the real estate market in Russia, taking into account the updated conditions. The decline in loans may be only 30 or 40 percent instead of 75 or 80 percent. However, there are risks of a bubble forming in the primary market and the transition of the secondary market into a state of depression, Sergei Grishinin, managing director of the Error Rating Service, told Ria Novosti. Deputy Prime Minister of Russia Merit Kasnulin on Wednesday proposed to change the parameters of the preferential mortgage program, raising the rate from 7% to 12% and increasing the maximum loan size for Moscow and the Moscow region street. Petersburg and Leningrad region to 12 million rubles and for other regions up to 6 million. And also keep rates on rural, far eastern and family mortgage programs. Russian President Vladimir Putin supported these proposals. Experts are cautious about this proposal. On the one hand, the introduction of such a preferential program can breed new life into the primary real estate market, especially in large cities. Already, most developers are trying to somehow support sales at their own expense and offer ultra-low mortgage rates up to 4.5%. The preferential program, funded by the state, will allow developers to maintain marginality, The Economist says. According to his estimates, mortgage issuance this year will decrease from last year's record of 5.7 trillion rubles, but the preferential program will help to contain this drop by 30 or 40 percent. At the same time, without it, the drop could be 75 or 80 percent. The disadvantage of such preferential programs is that developers, as well as in 2020, can use it to inflate real estate prices in the primary market. There are even objective factors for this, an increase in the cost of construction. But the risk here is that a price bubble will inflate in the primary market, while secondary real estate will not grow in price, since no preferential programs apply to it and the secondary market may be depressed, Grishin and fears. In this case, a situation will arise when an investor in real estate, having bought an apartment on the primary market, will then sell it on the secondary market at a significant discount. This bubble may in the future lead to a new stop of sales in the primary market and financial problems of developers, The Economist concluded.